Hello dear ones and today I'm going to speak about the Cancer Woman. For me the Cancer Woman is the woman, yeah, because she is so feminine, she is so moon for me, yeah. When you look at the moon, it just reminds you of the Cancer Woman, it's like she is the moon for me. She is the moon. And when I say moon, moon is so maternal. It doesn't, you know, it's not like bright and doesn't burn anyone, but it soothes, it's warm, it's tender, it's nourishing. When you look at the moonlight, you can look at the moonlight, but you cannot look at the sun and the sunlight directly. Yeah? But you can look at the moonlight and you, when you look at the moon, how do you feel? It soothes your eyes, you feel it's so wonderful, it's so pleasant. And this is how the Cancer Woman is, so pleasant to look at. You will feel, the moment you see a Cancer Woman, you will feel this moon energy that is emitted by this woman. She's eternally feminine. She is, I would say she is the example of caring and nurturing. She is the woman. She is the woman who is so motherly. No matter what, she will be motherly. No matter what, she will be motherly. No matter what age, you know, if you see the little cancer child of yours, you will see the way she takes her doll and the way she mothers that doll. You will know that she's going to be a, such, a, such a motherly person in, in her future. When she grows up, and she does grow up to be so motherly, she will not just be motherly with you if you are her partner, but with everyone. That's her nature. Her nature is to give. Her nature is to care. Her nature is to nurture. I don't know if how many of you have been lucky, but for me, I have been really blessed to have uh, the most important Cancerian relationships in my life. And I, I vouch for them and I tell you is that this woman is the woman you can go to when you're not fine a shoulder to cry on she's the shoulder to cry on because she's just so gentle she will listen to you she's a very good listener she just listens to you you can tell them your sob story if you've had a breakup if you have had a bad day whatever it is you just go and you know she will listen to you very patiently. She might hold your hand. She might just, you know, hug you or take you in her arms. And she will just soothe your pains away. This is what the Cancerian lady is made up of. If you are lucky to have her as your partner, I would say you're a very, very lucky person on this earth. Because there are not enough Cancerian ladies for everyone. And you need to recognize her value also. Unfortunately, I have seen that many of them, they don't recognize her value. And then they lose her. And when they lose her, after that, maybe they go into another relationship with somebody else. But they might never be able to forget that Cancerian lady, that Cancerian woman who has been their partner in life, be it a short affair or a marriage or a very long affair, whatever it is, this lady leaves a mark in your life. Because when she comes into your life, my dear, she comes in like the moon. Yeah. Uh, and how would I say like the moon? She's not the first one to initiate anything. She waits. She waits until you make the move. You know how the cancer is. It's a hard exterior and a very soft interior. Yeah, if you've seen the crab, it's like that, okay? And this lady is exactly like that, you know, like the way the crab moves. She will never make a direct approach. She will never come to you and directly like um, the Aries or the Scorpio woman can, you know, just to communicate with you but she will never do that her approaches are very very different and um, somewhere I feel the Cancerian woman can lose a person she loves just because she cannot approach someone directly she feels that always the other person has to make the first move it has to be you who has to make the first move and she waits for it. She's extremely patient. This is one of her qualities. She has lots and lots and lots of patience. Patience 
with your behavior if you don't behave well with her also she has lots of patience with you she gives chances because she's a mother inside okay so she looks at you as if you were a child you know and she will give you lots of chances so that you improve so that you improve your behavior so that you become or you rise up to your fullest potential she will just give you lots and lots of chances but once she's done she's done and that is a very very painful thing for her because she when she comes in your life you feel as if you have been blessed by god by the universe you have been blessed because when she comes she will just pamper you she just pamper she loves to pamper her partner she loves to pamper her partner. She takes care of her house so well. She is a very, very good cook. Most of the Cancerian ladies are a very, very good cook. Very well she will cook. She will take... For her, it's, it's her home, is her heaven. And so she will always invest in that. And whatever comes under that roof, be it you, be it your parents, be it your children, whoever comes under that roof, she will give it all to them devotedly endlessly i've seen cancerians in my family the ladies no matter at what time the relatives would pop in you know be it after our meals also if some relatives used to pop in the cancerian lady would just get up and she would again cook for them just because they have come home. This is the maternal energy. I have to take care of them. And I would not understand this. For me, I, I don't think I would go and cook again. Honestly, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how do you people manage that. But if I am, I have had my lunch and I'm tired. And after that, you know, if somebody, you know, rings the bell and the whole lot comes inside and then, you know, there is not enough food and you have to cook again. Um, I'm not. No, I'm not like you. I don't think I'll be able to do that. I don't know how you people manage that. But yes, this is one of the things. They will again cook for the whole lot or they will order food and they will again with, you know, even no matter how tired they are, I don't know what are you ladies made up of. No matter how tired you people are, you just, you will lay the table, you will make them feel comfortable. Very good entertainers. Always, you know, Ensuring everybody is comfortable. No matter what job you are doing. This is what is a Cancerian lady. Whatever she does, whatever job she does, she has to be motherly. That's her innate nature. And when I said it's like the moon, a relationship with a Cancerian lady. And how is it? It starts with the crescent, you know, with her smile, you know that moony smile that she has it starts with that and then it starts growing you know how you've seen that that crescent of the moon then it starts you know growing and growing and growing until it becomes the full moon yeah so like this it is with the cancerian lady the relationship is she's never in a hurry she doesn't want to hurry even if she loves the person she doesn't want to hurry into things she wants to take time because for her um, her heart is very sacred and her feelings are extremely sacred. So she will take a look at everything very well before she completely, you know, says yes to it. She wants her stability. So you have to be stable in life also. She will not just, you know, uh, no. She will wait. She will wait a bit. She will, if you are not yet settled in life, she is going to help you in that. She helps her man. She helps her partner. And she will always encourage you. And when she comes into your life, I don't know if you people have noticed it or not, but with many Cancerian women I've noticed, the moment they get into somebody's life, they change their life. Change their life in the sense they bring prosperity. They bring opportunities in their lives. So if you're a Cancerian sun, moon, rising, uh, you will notice it that the moment you have entered somebody's life, the Cancerian lady I'm speaking about over here, not the man, the lady. The moment, you know, she enters into the life of the man, 
in no time he starts doing a lot of things there is expansion of business then you know she will give ideas to him because she's a very good business woman also inside of her she has those analytical skills those administrative skills those organization skills are very much inside of her and she is the queen of managing finances this is what i've seen always you will see you know uh, the cancerian woman always has a secret hiding place for her money you know no matter how rich or poor she is she will have her own little piggy bank which is hidden which we don't know where is it kept uh, it can be in all her clothes also <laughs> because this is where i have found <laughs> um, in like my sister is a cancer in science to see how she's to you know just keep her you know keep her savings somewhere you know in the house in a book or a diary or something you know and uh, I used to notice that, you know, and whenever there is a need, you know, they're like squirrels, the Cancerian ladies, they're like squirrels. They will always, you know, gather for the rough days. And isn't that a wonderful quality in a woman? Because most of us women are spendthrifts, okay? She can be a spendthrift, yeah, but she's very wise when it comes to her spendings also. She's a very, very wise lady over there. So she's like a squirrel. She just, you know, she gathers, she gathers all the things uh, and she keeps them, she keeps them. And then one day, if the family unfortunately goes through a rough, rough patch when it comes to finances, then this beautiful Cancerian woman will hand over a bit of her savings and say, here you go, we can manage that. And everybody looks at her like, where did you get this money from? Oh, well, uh, I had kept it. And then everybody is surprised. But that's one of her quality. She saves for those rough patches. She is never, she is a very good planner when it comes to her finances. Very, very good planner. Until she has some kind of, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, a kind of uh, moon or something in her chart. Uh, sorry, uh, until she has a moon in uh, Pisces or something like that, then she will be a spendthrift. She doesn't bother about money so much. But a Cancerian lady is extremely, extremely wise and intelligent when it comes to her finances. It's very important for her. Her bank account has to be better, has to be better. And she will work hard because she's a very hard worker also. She works hard. She works devotedly. She has this little, in her house, those little spaces where she, she hides her money or she will, ha you know, she will buy a lot of gold or things like that if she, her money permits her. But this is not just for having it on her or wearing it or flaunting it, no. She is securing her future. That's what a Cancerian lady is. And I have also noticed about her is that she doesn't like to come across as too dependent to others, to her partner, yes. With her partner, she's, she likes to be babied by her partner. She likes to, as she babies him, as she babies a partner, she loves to be babied time to time. You know, she has her sob stories. She's very hypersensitive and extremely moody. She can be extremely moody because it's the moon energy. The moon is never stationary, you see. Wanning and waxing of the moon takes place, okay? And it's like that for her. When she goes towards her fuller moon side, she becomes more brighter. She can be a little bit eccentric at that time. She will laugh and she'll be full of energy. And when you should notice her moods according to the moon sign, because I used to notice that in my house, how, you know, the Cancerian moods used to swing and change and expand or contract according to the moon cycle she goes. Her moods change according to the moon cycle. So her partner has to be a bit, um, how do you say, intelligent and very understanding when she goes through these moon stages, okay, um, especially during the full moon and especially during the vanning moon, what happens is that her nature, I mean, rather her way of uh, behaving with you might change. Suddenly she can just, you know, flare up or, you know, so the partner would not understand what's wrong with her, you know, but a lot of moodiness is displayed, a lot of moodiness. One thing I've noticed about the cancer lady is that 
she never likes to be criticized never she would like to be criticized and never reject her the worst thing you can invite upon you is when you reject her she doesn't like it at all if you abandon her if you reject her i'm telling you that the worst thing that you can do to a pure soul of hers never do that never criticize her because she gives everything 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 to you she puts it all on the table she's devoted she's a loyal woman but she's doing she doesn't even count anything she just does it all like from your laundry to your cleaning to your to your cooking to taking care of your parents to taking care of everyone including you your children everything she does and if you criticize her that you're not doing enough excuse me but she's not going to forgive you for that she will sob she will cry her mood will be flaring up at that time definitely she will throw an outburst be if you're her colleague also or if you're her boss also and if she has worked a lot and if you say something wrong to her excuse me but she can have a kind of an outburst time to time she'll just like burst like a volcano on you and then you're like oh you know time to time the cancerian ladies outbursts are too dramatic you know like it's like hysteria at that time like she'll just boom she has to do that otherwise she's not going to feel fine inside her heart she might have a problem with her heart after if she doesn't do that if she keeps everything inside inside she does she does which is very very patient she she gives you lots of time to you know no it's okay it's okay it's okay and then one finally she'll just burst it all out and that is very difficult for everyone to take because then you see that around you is like my god she was this is she this also yeah she is not that lady that you met on your first date was so shy so reserved so so tidy so giving so sweetly she was smiling and she was waiting that you ask her what would she like what would she like to do yeah but she was not like that now she shows her fierce independent nature so she will sob she will cry a lot a cancer sick cancer in ladies can cry a lot but they don't like to show it in you know every in front of everyone did she will cry you know if it is like you've said something really wrong you've had a fight with her and if you leave you know she will cry a lot but then you know what she does she just wipes her tears and she gets back to work not always but she does many of the times she has that inner strength she really has that inner strength that you know after she has cried on something she just gets up and she's just you know doing her stuff you know and she puts her energy into something else in order to divert her from there but this happens 50% of the time but 50% of the time she does need you to stay back to just take her in in your arms and to say everything is going to be fine everything is okay you don't have to take everything to heart she's hypersensitive my dear she's hypersensitive you need to understand the sensitivity of this cancerian lady's heart do you even realize what all she gives you and when she becomes her mother a mother when she becomes you should see oh my god she is quite a mother then you might <laughs> have to take a little bit of back seat she will ignore you a little bit not much because you are her baby also in her heart okay but then she puts everything in nurturing her child i feel the cancerian mothers have to be told go slow because no matter how their children grow up at what age also she doesn't forget that they are babies she will cocoon them too much it has to be explained no my dear now your son now your daughter is about 20 is about 30 is 35 is 40 <laughs> no 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 it's my baby it's my baby and i'm going to take care of my baby i'm going to feed my boy i'm going to feed my girl like i used to do and this is why the cancerian relationship with the mother is very very special never say anything against her mother either the relationship is too too fusional wherein mm, your marriage life can also be a, in a, in a problem because of her mother or it can be too aloof these are only the two things that i have seen related to cancerian 
and their mother. It's very fusional, that relationship. She can do anything and everything for her mother or she's completely distant from her mother. She doesn't get along well with her mother at all. Most probably her mother didn't give her that maternal love. That equation didn't work out. But otherwise it is so fusional. Everything is around the mother regarding the Cancerian lady. She will leave everything and run to her mother, you know that. If her mother needs her, that's it. Huh? If she has that equation, that fusional bond with her, she will go. And you might also, and her mother can also pay visits <laughs> many a times. And then you'll be like, ah, oh, again, my mother-in-law is here. Oh, again, my mother-in-law is here. But then you have to understand the mother is like God for her. She's a goddess. And if you are, you know, if you are on the other side, then you will say, oh, we hardly see your mother. I never met your mother and she'll be like, not interested in meeting and in, you know, introducing you to my mother also. This is the other extreme that can happen in this Cancerian woman's life. So never joke around her mother. If you make some mother-in-law jokes, oh my God, you will get it bad on your face, I'm telling you, or she will keep crying and crying and you will be like, what happened, what happened? Always keep a tissue paper with you, a tissue paper box when you're with your Cancerian woman, you never know when she will start sobbing, when you're watching a movie, you know, or something like that. And yes, when you compliment her also, you need to be very careful. For example, if you say, oh, today you're dressed up like a queen, if you say that to her, you might almost see after some time, she will look a bit confused and she'll start crying. And I'll be like, why? What happened? Like, all these days, was I looking like something else, like bad or something? Like, uh, just today you're complimenting me. And then, you know, you will not understand. But she will, you know, she thinks too much. Or she will... She has that habit also, like, what will that other person think? Okay, I don't know if you have noticed it or not, but Cancerian ladies have that habit. It's like, oh no, but if we say this, then she will say that, and then he will say that, you know. They, they will project the dialogues of others right from here. This is what they have also inside of them, you know, like, oh no, no, let's not go to their place. Otherwise, uh, she will say that, why did you come? And then we will say this, but then her husband will say, you know, you shouldn't have come today or you should have just given us a call. I mean, these are all the things that in her mind she imagines, yeah? Because there is something inside of her which sometimes, um, I would say, some kind of complex hides inside of her heart also. And this complex is um, of not being accepted, of not being, uh, you know, of being judged, you know. She's very much afraid of being judged. She will do everything possible uh, to come across as very independent. She wants to show the whole world and she becomes at one point of time that independent herself. She likes to show everyone. See, I am very independent. I don't need a man in my life. I can handle my things my, myself, okay? And many Cancerian women, after, um, you know, as I said in my Cancer video also, and it applies very much to the Cancerian woman, is that at one point of life, you know, she she does change if she has a break off or a heartbreak okay a bad one or if she um, is rejected her identity in some way or her dreams are crushed on something that was very important to her then this woman changes this woman then leaves everything she turns the page rather she closes the books and throws it and gets a new book and sits and start writing her success story it is really um, you know and i've seen in many cancerian ladies lives um, after if they go through a divorce or a separation then they just change you know they become very strong inside of them, as if they hide, then you see the, how do you say, the carapace, the covering of the cancer, which is so tough, you know, like tuck, 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 it's like that, you know, like hard to touch, hard to feel, and she hides her sweet, 
uh, and um, the sensitive being of hers under that hard carapace because she has to protect herself, just protect her heart from all that outside world. Never tell her she, you cannot do that. Never tell her or ask her who are you, what did you get in life. Instead look at yourself in the mirror and say why are you today? Why are you so, so successful today because of her? If she's your partner, just say that. And if you go home and if you're a well settled person and you're the husband or the partner, the Cancerian woman, and if she has taken a back seat, it's just because of you. Know that. She sacrifices for her family. She sacrifices for her children, for her family. She sacrifices everything for you. But if you fail to nurture that inner being in her, that sweet little girl that she's inside of her who needs so much of love, attention, attention is the word for her, attention and complimenting. Most of the times I see the Cancerian ladies are taken for granted and I just don't like it. I don't like it because, you know, what is your problem, my dear Cancerian lady? Is that you give too much. You just give too much. What are you getting in return? They just, they just keep taking from you. This is what I see. She just keeps giving and giving and giving. Come on, have your own self-respect. I really, I used to say that. Because I used to see how people treated these innocent angels all the time taking, taking and not even saying a word of thank you, no gratitude. But she was all the time giving, then she would cry and then she would say, I did everything, so much I did. So much I prayed for their well-being and look what am I getting in return. And then you have to explain to them, you know what, stop giving. But then she's criticized, oh, now she doesn't do it. Don't care, don't care. You have to live your worth, my dear Cancerian lady. You have a heart of gold. And, I, and again and again I repeat that a man who has found a Cancerian woman has to feel loved, loved and just loved. Even if she appears a bit clingy, even if she appears to be holding tight, tight, tight to you. She's not jealous, mind you. She's possessive, but she's not jealous. But what she gets is the ultimate thing that a man needs on this earth. The care, the love, the loving maternal energy, the motherly energy that she gets into your life. She takes care of you. What more do you need? She loves you devotedly. What more do you need? Always she gets you whatever you want, the attention that you need. She, if she cannot be with you at a particular function, occasion, she will make up for it in some or the other way. She will send you notes, she will send you pictures of her, or something she will do. And she will make you feel that you are not alone and by your side. Never lose a Cancerian lady, I have to tell you. Never lose a Cancerian lady because you will regret it. You will really regret it. And if today you tell me, oh, but Cancerian ladies are too clingy, they are too possessive, they are too moody, they are blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, but to get her to the blah, blah, blah point of speaking means that you have not stayed really attentive towards her. You have not given her her attention. You have gone wrong somewhere. You couldn't give her love. This is why she distanced. You were too hard with her. You were too harsh with her. You forgot to understand that she has this heart and this hyper sensitivity that she needs that understanding from her partner. And if you couldn't give it, then don't regret. And don't say anything bad about her, please. I will really not be able to accept if you say something wrong about her because I know them. I know them inside out, I would say. And they are really gems. They are gems. She's rare. She's rare. So you need to really, um, I would say, understand her. She is the moon. Yes, she's the moon. It might be difficult to understand the moon because if you're too much as a distant from the moon you are just admiring from a distance but the closer you get the glow will fall on your face also if you're not fine and all and if you just go to her you know she will look at the way she cheers you up 
She's a very good motivator, especially with her children. She's so kind, she's so sweet. She motivates them. Her husband, she will motivate. No matter you are her friend, she will motivate you. She will have the patience, you know. She will have the patience. I remember I used to have a school partner uh, and she was born on the 1st of July. And I was bad at maths. And she was really, really, she was a topper. She was a very good student. And we used to sit, you know, together in the class. She was my bench partner. And I used to say, oh, I don't understand this. And she would just, you know, help me. And still I wouldn't understand it. And <laughs> she would just go on and go on till I understood it. And she was so sweet and so maternal towards me at that age when we were just 12 years old. Since then that maternal energy comes in this Cancerian lady. She goes through a lot in life. And she always needs someone to tell her that she is admired for what she is. She can be a very, very good uh, businesswoman, a strategist, because she's, she's, you know, she sees in the future. She has that intuition about the future, but her emotions are her biggest enemy. Rather, she gives too much importance to what others will say. And because of that, she gets hurt most of the times. Because others are others. Why are you giving them so much of importance? Always they will hurt her fragile heart. And as she has too much of perception about her environment, she can capture things from the environment. And she can immediately, she can come to know, oh, this one is ignoring me on purpose. Or she, she he's doing that, she's doing that. She will still try to be kind to you. If you go and say, I'm sorry, or things like that, she'll be kind to you. But she will be hurt. She broods a lot. She broods a lot. If you have done something to her three to four years ago or ten years ago, she still has it on her mind. She cannot let go of certain things. She broods a lot. She cannot let go of certain memories. When you sit and speak to her, she remembers so many things of her childhood, the times with her family, her mother, with you, when is your anniversary, everything she remembers. She's a very disciplined lady. She means business too. When it comes to work, she's extremely disciplined. She will get up, she will start tuck, 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 tuck. Everything on time, on time, on time. She will do everything so well and so perfectly also. All she needs, if you want to win this Cancerian lady's heart is, the route to her heart is through kindness, through a lot of attention and understanding. Appreciate her for what she is. Don't tell her or don't criticize her. You are not this or you should be like this. No, don't criticize her, please. Take a good look at yourself first before criticizing her. Because she has come a long way, okay? And it's not easy to be a Cancerian woman. Believe me, it's not easy to be a Cancerian woman because she has to handle all those moods, all those changes according to the mood, moon that happened, the moon and the moods. The moon changes, the moods change. Yet, she's giving you the best things on this earth or what she has to offer, she gives it to you. Until you make her so hard that she can just flirt with you and just leave you one day to another. When a Cancerian woman's heart is broken, you know, several times, then she just becomes, you know, cold and flirty as she can become. And she doesn't care then for anybody's emotions. Then she just, you know, she wants to hurt and she will go back in her shell and protect herself. Why should I look at those people who don't even know my value this becomes her you know feeling inside of her she's an extremely good teacher extremely good teacher but she doesn't teach with lessons she teaches with her example what she is she can write down you know sometimes the cancerians have this diary with them you know or a book and she can write down a lot of you know her secrets she will pour into that and she writes down whatever has hurt her whatever has made her vulnerable whatever are her pains many a time she will have very intuitive dreams also uh, just like the uh, just like the Pisces lady she has those intuitive dreams 
she's very much connected with the universe this is what I've noticed also with the Cancerian ladies and if she says oh I, th I think somebody is going to come to our place today well it, many a times that happens and if you see this shy lady who is not very you know out you know outgoing or ha ha hoo, hoo, uh, you know you should just understand that she's a cancerian and she just needs you to make the first move otherwise you both will be just sitting in one room <laughs> doing nothing and just waiting who makes the first move so you have to be the first uh, you have to make the first move with the cancerian lady she has too much dignity to you know and shy, yes, she can be shy, that she doesn't come, you know, out across loud. She respects her femininity and her delicate, fragile heart. She respects it a lot. So she shields it so well. She doesn't want to give it to anyone immediately. She will shield it until she knows you are, you know, you are the one, you are perfect. In taking care of her, you can give her protection. Uh, but my dear Cancerian lady, I have to tell you something is that you need to be very careful with your emotions because you're so maternal that sometimes because of that also you land up into problem. Some men or some people take undue advantage of your generosity and uh, you get fooled in a particular relationship and then then you have scars that stay lifelong so be careful of what you give and to who you give my dear cancerian lady and uh, be good to yourself it's nice you're good to everyone else you do a lot sometimes you need to think about yourself you know that you're not a martyr you are you don't have to self-sacrifice so much you need to be good to, good to yourself. You need to respect yourself. I will emphasize on this. You need to respect yourself, my dear. And you need to know your worth. You're a diamond, okay? So you don't need to behave like a charcoal piece. You're a polished diamond. So you need to know your worth, my dear Cancerian lady. Don't sell yourself too low, okay? You're invaluable. You should know that, my dear. Respect yourself and self-love is the first thing that you need to learn. All the time giving out, giving out, giving out and what is left for you? Nothing. And when, and especially to the people who are like earthen pots with holes. No matter what you give, everything percolates. Nothing is remaining in that pot. And you keep giving, keep giving and at the end you are so exhausted that finally you shut the door and then you want to be left alone. Instead of going till there to that exhaustion point, know that you have to give in measures and how much somebody deserves. Use your intuition, use this hypersensitivity for that, my dear. No matter who says what about you, don't take it to heart, my dear. Because they are them, they are brought up differently and that is their headache, it's not your headache. You know your worth, know that and henceforth if you feel low, or if you feel lesser than someone, just inside of you say, I am the brightest diamond. Just know that. And live with your head held up high. You don't need to look or bend in front of people. No, not at all. And remove all those fears and complexes. We don't need them, my dear Cancerian lady. I know the moon plays those tricks upon you. But you, are, you don't know your worth. So unveil your worth, stand tall, stand with your dignity. You have too much to give that no other woman in the zodiac can give. This is what you are. That's why I said we are not lucky enough on this planet for people who want a Cancerian lady as their life partner. Yeah. So all those men who have a Cancerian wife or a partner or a girlfriend, cherish her, please cherish her. You don't know if she goes away, you don't know what you will miss on this earth. Cherish her, please. So thank you, my dear Cancerian lady, my Cancerian woman, for listening to me. And keep 
uh, you know, flashing that lovely moon-like smile and those giggles uh, and keep being your beautiful self that you are and never, never question your self-worth. You're the best diamond. So just know that, my dear Cancer and Lady. So thank you for listening to me. And uh, please do like, share and comment. And um, please let me know as a Cancerian woman, how did you feel after listening to this video? And also the points that I must have missed, you can always add to them. All right. Because um, I can keep on speaking and speaking. It will be two, three hours video. So I have to cut it a bit short. Uh, and uh, yeah, most probably there will be other parts also that can be made later on. So yeah, please do let me know your inputs and I'll be glad to really receive those pearls from your side. Thank you very much and may God bless you always. God bless. Bye-bye. Take care.